Hi, welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 4. Now we should be working on the 12th chapter, as this is our 12th episode. Um, so I noticed that we were having a fight with Krauser, which based on their interactions, again, I really don't know so much about Leon's past because I really haven't played any of the other games, but it sounds like he's a mentor or something. He and Leon clearly have a history. Um, we also lost somebody. But I don't want to get too much into that, just in case anybody who's watching this baby hasn't seen the previous episodes, and if that's the case, go ahead, go back. I'm going to put in the link down below my uh, list for that particular Resident Evil playthrough that I've been doing, and I've got a whole section you guys can go through, and you can go through each of the videos, because there's a nice little folder for that. Um, and with that, I'm excited to see what does that mean for finding Ashley, are we going to be able to find her in time? what was going on up to this point and where is Ashley at this point because again we got separated once again and now we're trying to figure out just where she is and is it too late to save her with what's been going on so far in game and without further ado we might as well get started and find that out you were a fine night Don Quixote. Mm. Luis really was dunder, with this though. Like, they really did Luis dirty that way. Also, I did appreciate the Don Quixote reference, but like, come on, Leon. He's a lot more useful than Don Quixote. Alright. It's okay, Luis. I'll avenge you. You deserve that much, brother. Alright. That being said, nothing else to grab in this room? Okay. Let's go forward and let's see if we can't get ourselves an Ashley. Because at this point, we're not doing so hot on the keeping our companions with us. So listen up. They took your friend to the top of the clock tower. If you hurry, you might get there before she turns into one of them. Uh, so you aren't heartless after all. I guess I should be thankful. Yeah, you should. I mean, it's only polite. She's sharing information with you. She absolutely does not have to. She could absolutely let you sink or swim. That being said, I understand the suspicion. I do see you over there, buddy. I will get to you in a second. I want to read these, though. Jewel Thief. Someone help me recover a stolen jewel snatched by a thieving crow. I bet it could be found in the vile thing's nest. It is an heirloom of our family and cannot become some bird's plaything. So we're selling a scratched emerald, and the courtyard's where we need to go to get the spindles for that. Okay. And then... The Disgrace of the Salazar Family. That detestable Ramon Salazar. Even the very sight of his image makes my skin crawl. Do me a service and find some way to deface that portrait of him in the room shown in the photograph, will you? I'm not particular about how you do it. Hitting it with something might do the trick. And... That looks like that's the throne room where we got separated from Ashley last. Yeah, I believe that would be the last time. It's happened so many times I'm trying to remember what the last time was. But yes, it looks like the throne room. So, oh, the fast travel thing again. Okay. Oh, breaks over, I suppose. In a second, it will be. I'll get to you, man. <laughs> All right, and nice. Okay, and then this is where. Oh, we had those. We first did the cockroach fights or whatever. Yeah, unlock it for me. Thank you. So now we can go through there. So ballroom here. What are y'all doing that you've just destroyed the ballroom? Like, that's crazy. Courtyard. That's where the, not only the crows were, but uh, that's the whole maze and everything. So we've got a courtyard thing, and we've got to go to the throne room. 
Hmm. I wonder if that'll take us there or we should go there ourselves. Okay, well, let's go talk to our merchant friend first and we'll go from there. Take a look. Something's bound to catch your eye. Welcome. What can I interest you in? Just not quite there yet. I have all these Your gems. Valuables and won't really do you much good in the grave. Nothing to put them in. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I'll buy almost anything. Well, frankly, I don't need all those knives. Not bad. I'll keep one around. Valuables won't do you much good in the grave. I think that's what we can sell for now. Well then, what can I do you for? We should tune this up. That's good work if I do say so myself. And we're not gonna be able to upgrade anything else till we get more cash in our pocket. Got a selection of good things on sale, straight. Come back any time. I mean, we might as well go through the inventory here in a minute. Hmm. Okay. Let's come over here. I'll store some things and we'll go from there. Alright, and with that, let's go off. Um, I am going to go try and deface the... <laughs> picture and we might as well head back to actually where is this going to take us because if it takes us back to the courtyard that'd be swell there's the clock tower hang in there ashley oh no this just takes me forward Okay, so, will you take me back? Yes, yes, you will. Awesome. I was not ready to go to the clock tower. Ashley can wait. Ashley can wait. She's waited this far. The chances of her making out alive at this point are slim to none. She can wait. Okay. With that being said, let's go to the throne room. Which is to my left, not my right. Correct, correct. I thought I heard scrabbling. I mean, I did, but it was probably me kicking Bree up. Yep, anti-chamber. It's fine. That gives us a chance to grab a couple of items in here that we missed anyways. Hi! How you doing? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I see... You know, they're awful polite just waiting here for me. Um, probably the dick thing to do, but... <laughs> Oh! Oh! No! Present for you. I was like, oh, I see movement. That's fine. It was not fine. There were spiders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they plug into your brain? Mm. Regrets. Regrets all around. Here, take that. Did he just... Did he just dip? He did. But it was a ruse. 
Oh, you know. Still kicking. Oh no! Oh, okay. Oh. okay, first off. First off. Use that. Second off. Oh, I hate you. Crawl on me. You try to like put your babies in me. I'm getting some alien flash. Please tell me that's not a piece of armor. Getting some alien flashbacks. Just I'm not for it. I'm not I'm not for it, guys. <laughs> okay. Um there is an item over here. Bolts. I don't need those. And it looks like there's some magnum ammo over on that. Shelf up here. That's the word I was looking for. Nope. Attachable lines. The point is, armor I can sell. Not armor. Ammo. Steve, this is your fault somehow. I don't know how, but it's your fault. Yep, that looks right. Okay. Now, got some things in the throne room we can grab. Chronicles of Pursuit 2, October, eight years since my awakening. At last, my noble pursuit progress uh, progresses to its final stage, the fusion of human and insect, I've noticed. The housekeeper has graciously volunteered herself for the experiment. I shall pour my whole heart into this endeavor in order to transcend, transcend humanity and make Master Ramon proud. March, nine years since my awakening. A glorious union has been made. The housekeeper has endured much suffering, but not for naught. Behold, the fruits of our labor in all its beauty. I shall consecrate this perfect life form with the name U3, for three is the most beautiful and complete number. April, nine years since my awakening. U3, my dear hound, Pesanta, has been chosen to serve as the right hand of Master Ramon but it is two not better than one. Now it is my turn to demonstrate my loyalty. His humble servant, Isidro Uriarte de la Vera. And you got the dogs involved, man. It's messed up. Don't involve the puppies. <clears throat> it's probably why we have all those hounds running around. Okay. Right over here. must be up and around the corner. Let's see. Ah, yes, right here. Perfect. Ornate necklace. I need to inlay gemstones. I have those. Okay, now again, we need the rectangular ones so we can start selling things. <coughs> Holes. I need those as well. Did I just hear a rooster crow? Ramon's confession. My lord, my true benevolent father, blessed the Salazar bloodline with an iron hammer. The founder of my family proclaimed the holy teachings of Los Illuminados evil and persecuted its followers. Not only that, he stole their most prized possession and sealed it below the castle. Blasphemy! Insolence! How long have I suffered the shame of knowing that the same blood flows through my veins? Finally, the Day of Atonement has come. Oh, my beloved Sadler, I shall release the holy plagas that were hidden under the castle. The time is now. With divine grace, the wicked shall be reborn as part of the flock, reborn as ganado. They shall be my lord's loyal servants. Nothing would please me more than to sit at my lord's feet and bask in your splendor. I am your humble servant. You are my eternal light. To you, I swear my unwavering allegiance. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
No? Won't let me. And that is a chicken. We're just letting chickens in now? Uh -oh. Okay. First we use the cube. was it okay gold chicken egg someone was like yes i will just put that there for later housekeeper's memo too oh master ramon with tomorrow's procedure i shall finally surpass the limitations of this mortal shell what's left of me now shall soon be gone magnificent the holy body is a wondrous miracle the fealty I have sworn to Master Ramon is the sole light that illuminates my path. Our fates shall be entwined until the very end. Have you ever known such loyalty? Got it. The, the housekeeper was all in for this. I mean, good for you for being supported, but at the same time. <laughs> we can sit in the chair. That's funny. Really? That's that's what we wanted to do out of that was just I shall stare ponderingly into the universe, the space, the void. There's no time for resting. Are you sure? I feel like there might be time for resting. Can I throw it? I know what we need to do. Throw something at it to deface it. I figured it out. We get to egg him. You're <laughs> ugly anyways. There we go. That should do it. You know what? I'm gonna do one more. Just, just for posterity's sake. <clears throat> there. <sighs> Makes me feel better. That's why we're letting the chickens in here for some reason. Alright, anything else that I need to be concerned about? Oh, there's a knife or something over there. More for me to sell. Nope, it's over here in this corner. Alright, somewhere. It was just stuck in the portrait. I'm wondering if that's his dad or his ancestor or whatever. Brown chicken egg. All right. So now we can turn in this one. It looks like we're going to have to wait to go back to the courtyard based on what I'm seeing here. So it's not that big of a deal. It means we can go on to the clock tower, go get Ashley, and eventually come back to the courtyard. Or not. Um, but since they gave it to us after the previous chapter, I'm gonna guess we'll be going back. <laughs> I'll say, I know I unlocked this. Alright, so anyways. Care of her a quest, did ya? Ha! <laughs> I can tell by the look on your face. It was worth egging the portrait. Nice work. Ooh, what are you buying? Let's see. I thought I'd sell you a Ruby's golden chicken all egg. rubbish. It makes no difference. Thank you. Don't need 
need to repair it right now. If you want a fighting chance out there, you best tune up your kit. I'm trying to remember, I think it was the riot gun? Or was it... You? One of them I needed the ammo capacity. It's not you, because I finished that out on yours. Or is it the rate of fire I'm thinking of? I'll do... We're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. Unless Got a selection. Pleasant travels. All right. There's other things I can sell. Welcome. Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. That's a deal well struck. <laughs> Yep, and I need more. Anything else stuff. I can help? Come back anytime. Okay, now we can go on. Let's go get Ashley. All right, you got this, Leon. I've only lost one companion. Ada's been helpful for some reason. Speaking of Ada, so they wanted Louise to go get the Amber because. You know what? Depending on the year, Jurassic Park wasn't a thing, so they might not have seen it. Um, but say, no one's clearly watched uh, Jurassic Park, but depending on when this is taking place, which I think I saw it taking place in the 80s, and Jurassic Park came out in the early 90s, so that wouldn't be a thing yet. The point is, maybe we don't bring back extinct life forms that are trapped in amber. Generally just not a good idea. <sighs> this guy. You are nothing, if not unyielding, Mr. Kennedy. However, I'm afraid it ends here. Expel this intruder! Expel the intruder. You know what? I have... I have a thing for this. <laughs> so I felt about that. Oh, you know what? That's fair. I still have a thing for that. You know, I got excited. I let you come up on me with the torch. That's fair. be actually shooting people. But what's the fun of that? Okay. So... <laughs> Drop. Now you're not going. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, 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 chanting, oh, senor, probably saying something to the effect of, like, bestow your gift upon us, something, something, plug us, the usual stuff. Oh! Really? Gotta shoot it in the head. Oh, <laughs> there's supposed to be many Ramones. I have not gotten to see them like super close, but that it's not a I mean it's a patriot, but like it's not like 
pardon my American thinking, but like, it's it's not like the little like English Patriots or anything. It, it's from all but the Patriots <laughs> got it. Man, I wish I would have gotten more of these then, because that just makes that more satisfying. Okay, let's see. It shoots fire. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Oh, you wouldn't let me uh, block it, but I could have evaded it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so it's only got a slight range. I mean, that's not too bad. Okay, let's
way, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate the thought. You know, you really thought I would appreciate the gift of having the whole Indiana Jones experience. And I appreciate that. Guys, blow up before they 
Handle my issue. Yeah, my body armor. And that's where we need to go. Well, there's Ramon. There, yep, that's where we need to go. Ashley. There she is. She doesn't look entirely. I'm gonna say conscious. Conscious is the word we're gonna go with here. That son of a bitch. Um, any other things to focus on? No, but we might have a friend we can shoot from here. because I'm almost out of it. Like, really need bolts, guys. Okay, looks like there's a treasure on the way. Sounds good. So, do we walk slow, or do we just get it over with and pray it doesn't collapse on us? That is the question. There you are. Diamond. I hear you talking smack. Tempting to go because there's treasure. We'll check it out in a second. All right. Can I inlay anything? Yes, yes, I can. Unfortunately, I still need the rectangular gems. So we'll see. Welcome. Oh, what are you buying? You're actually going to be buying a gold bar and some dollar food for me. Good, sir. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price, well, 
that's our choice to make. That's Thank right. you. Tune up. Let's repair this. Good as new. And the body armor. Give that the care it deserves, mate. Okay, so I'm not gonna get any power on these for a minute. If you want a fight, see how that feels, mate. Fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. Will that be all then? And anything to trade? Not. Really. I could oh, trade tokens, my but. My back is killing me. Years haven't been kind to us, I suppose. All right, Might so. Might want to take care of any leftover errands before going this way. Be ashamed to live the rest of your life wondering what if. So I'm gonna wait till the next time I come across him. If I find none of the rectangular gems, I'm just gonna say what the heck and sell what I got. Um, though it sounds like we might be going on to maybe a new area, or at least we won't be able to return to this area. Alright. So up this we go, just to get an idea of what we're working with. Ashley, then. Breaks over, I suppose. No, no, no. Go back to your break, my guy. Uh, you know. Stay. Stay. <laughs> For me. Out of the way. I say it's much needed and appreciated. Looks like I'll be at this point um, upgrading like capacity. <laughs> reload and stuff before I can finish doing power. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Yeah, let's put you down here. To you as promised. Oh, she's you tell home. our lord do not forget the loyalty of his servant Ramon. Yeah, <clears throat> hey, uh, come back with that. That's mine. Ashley! Such a fool, Mr. Kennedy. To have been bestowed with lords at least. You talk too much. Failed. Oh, that was satisfying. You vulgar, utterly uncivilized. Please blow this head open. Oh, grow. Thank you. I appreciate you for that. That's not the gun I'm using. Of course not. That would be that'd be too easy. Allow me to show you. Uh, be granted by my master. The power of the god. Stage is set for the final act. You know, he's going to wait at least. There's at least that. Defeat. Oh, you spit Maybe acid. Crack and strict. Well then, why don't you show me what a first class critic is like? Do it all actions. He spits acid, this is gonna make it harder to shoot him. Bonito. 
<laughs> Sorry. can spit at me this time. So bad yourself for a moldy son of a bitch. <laughs> Watch your 
language, my lord. What would others think of you? This means death. It's slow, death. I mean... Why do you flee? Do you That's fair. I, I, I did sit there and wait till it got me. Again, I don't want to replace what your dad said to you as a baby. sprayed with acid personally. You know, that's fair. You know, it probably stings a little bit. Probably not exactly. Probably not exfoliating for the skin and stuff. Or it is, and that's why it's painful. I walked into that one. I'm more than bleeding at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm melting with the acid. Like, it's just... You know what? No, we, we need this whole reason. to allow it or not, sir. Nope. No, thank you. I don't think I will. I will help you die, demon child. Okay. Lip Rouge. You know what? Thank you for your lipstick. Alright, time to go see if we can find Ashley. No time to lose. Oof. 
I'd say the Ramon fight was a little tough. Just because the acid, like, that was definitely the worst part of it. He's not necessarily a tough boss. Uh, crap. Where do you think you're taking her? Well, based on what we overheard, back to the U.S. so she can go infect others. So I'm wondering how much more we're going to come across our cultists. <laughs> Obviously, you know, they're still following, I'm gonna guess, Lord Sadler, which is our, our, I'm gonna guess, our hallucination friend, our hallucination buddy, our hallucin buddy. Um, they keep saying, oh, I, I gave you a gift. Your, your body has accepted the blood, it has accepted the gift, and you're just like, no, I'm good. Um, but we'll see. Did I miss a thing? It says I missed a thing. What thing did I miss? That thing. That's the thing I missed. Another yellow diamond. Yeah, at this point I'm just gonna start selling those diamonds and stuff. Might as well at this point. Housekeeper's memo one. I have failed you, my lord. I was unable to fulfill your final commandment and keep the boy from the path of wickedness. I caught a glimpse of Master Ramon's evil temperament during his younger years, when he discovered a servant mocked him by uttering Porgacito behind his back, he summoned her to his private chambers after forcing her to yell before him. Ramon doused her face with a vial of vitriol he pulled out of his pocket. Call me names? I get acid on your face, I guess. The young master watched with glee when the servant writhed in agony as the skin melted from her face. His twisted grin still haunts my dreams to this very day. As time passed, Ramon's treachery only deepened, and that infernal cult soon learned they could prey upon his vulnerable heart. Curse the fiends. They've manipulated Master Ramon and turned him into their puppet. Worst of all, they've managed to use him to unleash Las Plagas that the Salazar family has fought so long and hard to keep sealed away. Lord Diego, rest assured I intend to watch over Master Ramon until the very end, whatever fate may befall us. As a faithful servant of the Salazar family, since birth it is my duty and my penance to you. Okay, so she wasn't like always like, yes, I can serve Ramon by giving my body to the Plagas. And so interesting enough, whoever Ada is working for that wants this insect strain, um, it's an ancient kind of plague thing that we're trying to protect against until, you know, the cult came and the kid was like, Perfect. Yeah. Won't have to swim after all. That tells me, though, that we might very likely have to fight the salamander again. The giant fish. Alright, that's it. Just... Get into the boat. Just get into the boat. Alright, let's go. Ah, oh, damn it. Looking for something? Yeah, some gas. Or those. Those might help. Alright, I am going to call it there. So, the Ramon fight was very interesting. Uh, tentacle. Acid spitting guy. Makes sense considering that's his favorite weapon of choice as a kid. Ugly dude. And now it looks like we're going to be working with Ada. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Alright, so thank you so much if you made it this far to the video, through the video, and go ahead and hit that like button below. If there's anything you want to comment on, uh, other games I can check out, anything about this chapter I missed, anything about, like, the weapons, ways to make money, because I am looking a little short on cash here, go ahead and put that down in the comments below. And of course, as always, if you did like and comment, or just liked, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below, and you'll get notifications when I post new content. And thank you so much.